Welcome back. So hopefully you've got your number for your finger memorized. Uh, mine is 20 millimeters. So go ahead and keep that magic number in mind and let's start making some custom rings. First thing we always wanna do is save the project. So we'll go file, save as, and I just have a blender folder here and we're just gonna call it custom ring. So the next thing we wanna do is get rid of Suzanne. So we'll just click on Suzanne and hit X on the keyboard to delete her. And then make sure you have your flexible design collection highlighted. And we're going to do shift A and add a mesh, but we want to add a cylinder. And you should get a little add cylinder, uh, little icon box right here. So just twiddle that on up. And let's increase our vertices to maybe 64 just so that our ring is very smooth. And I'm gonna hit period on my numpad so we can kind of see what we're doing here. And then for the radius, this is where you're gonna use that magic number or the number you memorized in the previous video. So just take your number. Mine, for example, is 20. So you're gonna type 20, but then you're gonna hit divided by or you know backslash and then two because we want the radius. So that's half of your uh, you know, diameter. So there we go. Now we've got a 10 millimeter. Um, you know, I could have done that by, uh, by with my brain, but you know, if you have some strange different kind of number or, uh, you know, 23.75, you know, uh, that'll help kind of get you an exact measurement there. And then for the depth, let's type in 50, because this is gonna represent our finger. So now if we hit period on the numpad, we've got essentially a virtual representation of our finger here. So let's go over to our layers and just double click that cylinder and call it finger. And we're essentially just gonna subtract this from our next shape, which will be the ring. So let's add a new shape, make sure you're on flexible design, hit shift A, and we're gonna add another cylinder, but we don't need it as tall. So we're gonna maybe do like seven, and that's the height of our ring, seven millimeters. And for the radius, just increase it ever so slightly. And this is where you can kind of take, you know, creative liberties and decide how thick do you want your ring to be? You know, you want to keep in mind that your other fingers are nearby, so you don't want your ring way out here. But maybe something around this area. So I'm going to do 13 millimeters. And we'll keep the vertices at 64. And just click out. And now we've got our ring. So just click on that. And maybe we want to rename this. You know, it's always a good practice. So let's rename the cylinder ring. And the next thing we want to do is subtract our finger here from our ring. So to do that, just click on the finger first and then hold shift and click on the ring and then do control minus on the keyboard. And that will be uh, the bool tool, uh, brush boolean difference. And looky there, we've got a nice ring still pretty basic but we're getting somewhere and this i mean technically you could 3d print this and it would fit on your finger but we're going to make it look a little bit cooler and add some customization workflows so uh, one thing i wanted to show you you know say if we clicked on the ring and we grabbed it we're we're gonna you know everything they're not parented together so let's go ahead and fix that and just take the finger and click and drag it over the ring and hold shift and notice it'll say drop to set parent and there we go. So now if you twiddle down the ring, you should see the finger inside of there. So if you select just your ring and hit G to move, now everything stays together. And we'll just hit escape to clear that. Another cool trick that I learned too, say if you grab this and you accidentally moved it, um, you can reset your objects by hitting Alt G and that will uh, reset the, the position. So Alt G, you can also do Alt R for rotation and you can also do Alt S for scale, little nifty trick. And this is looking pretty cool, but I think it could look better. And notice that I'm still in solid mode, but I wanna add some shadow and cavity just to kind of give it a little bit more of a 3D printed look. And now let's go take, our, take your ring layer and let's add a modifier. So we've got our bool tool there with our finger. That's good. We can just twiddle that up to hide it. And now let's add a bevel modifier. So this is a new one. I like to do this. Um, we could go into edit mode on our ring and use the bevel modifier, but it actually, you know, bakes that into the geometry. And so if you ever wanted to go back and change it, uh, it's a little bit more difficult. So what I like to do 
is just do the same thing, but with a modifier. So do uh, modifier, add modifier, and bevel. Second column, second one down. And you can kind of see what's happening. It's kind of put a bevel on the edge here. Um, let's turn on our wireframe so we can kind of see what's happening. So just go to the top right. I'm going to hide my my uh, information. So just hit in for information panel. Now let's toggle on our wireframe. So we'll just go to this little drop down here and do geometry and click on wireframe. And if yours is kind of low, you can always increase it up to one. And now we can kind of see what this bevel tool is doing. So for the offset, let's just put that at like half. So maybe 0.5. And you can see it's kind of increased this bevel. So we're already getting a way cooler look to this ring. And then next what we want to do is increase the segments. And watch what happens to the edge, this little beveled edge here. So we'll increase from one, maybe up to three. And that looks okay. We've got some kind of like triangle shapes happening. Uh, so if we turn off our thing, it kind of looks rough around the edges. And that will definitely show up on our 3D print. So what I like to do is go to our limit method and change it from none to angle. And that looks a little more better to me. It just looks a little, uh, I don't know, it just looks better to me. So really you can do that if you want to, it's completely optional, but I just like that look a little bit better. And one other thing we could do is maybe just increase our offset even more. So you could leave it there if you want to, but watch what happens when we increase this offset. It just rounds it out all the way. So you don't wanna, you know, go too far where it clips, but maybe just kind of find a, a sweet spot somewhere in there. And there we go. Now we've got a really cool, very curvy uh, ring here. So I'm really digging this. I think we've got a nice ring, but in the next video, I'm going to show you how to add custom text to this so that, you know, if you're ever hanging out with some friends or some new acquaintances and they're like, what's that on your finger? You can be like, it's a 3D printed ring that I designed. And it's just a good conversation starter. So let's go ahead and jump into the next video.